How's it going everyone? Adam here continuing on my NHL 14 be a GM commentary as GM of the Montreal Canadiens. Now uh, anyone who's been watching the whole uh, series that I've been doing here knows that earlier, an earlier video, for some reason my uh, microphone didn't pick up the audio. Well this time, there when I did the screen, uh, the video capture, um, there was two options for my Turtle Beats headset, so I just chose one thinking there was no difference. And uh, I finished the video, uploaded it to YouTube, and then realized that there was no audio. Don't know why. So uh, I this time I chose the other Turtle Beats headset, and there's never been two before, but there was two for that option this time. Did a test recording and it was fine, so unfortunately that video is not going to be put up. Um, so just to recap what happened, uh, we won games 1, 2, and 3 almost effortlessly. We lost games uh, 4 and 5. I made some line changes, um, which I kept. I haven't changed them. I'm keeping the line changes the same. So I moved Christian Thomas to the first line, and uh, I did something else. Oh, yeah, I switched McCray and Ryan White. So that, those were the moves I made. Um, and then defense, I just switched it up. So I put Tenorti here and then Orlov down a line. So that's what happened. Um, and for anyone who hasn't been following this series, our NHL team didn't make the playoffs. So I'm doing the AHL playoffs with the Abbotsford Heat because I dropped down three of our prospect NHL defensemen. So here we go. Round three. We have a 92 overall defenseman on this AHL team, so we should be able to win the Calder Cup. Let's start game one against the Abbotsford Heat. We have identical records as them for the regular season. So we score early. Christian Thomas scores two minutes into the game. They score on the power play. Don't know who that is, that Arnold person. Okay, they score again. Derek McKenzie, I think that was. We're on the power play. We capitalize. Danny Cristo, the man who can only score goals. But that's okay. That's all we need him for. On the power play again. This time we can't capitalize. Another power play chance. We are out shooting them. Uh, Corbin Knight scores for him. Playing from behind. Nathan Boyle. This is a runaway game. Back and forth we go. In the third period, we got to kill off this power play. We do. We're on the power play. We're trading power plays back and forth. No one capitalizes. Long power play there. And they score. And we lose game one to the Abbotsford Heat 4-3. to three. So because we lost, I'm actually going to look at their roster to see who they have on their team. If we had won, I probably wouldn't have bothered. Just because it's the AHL. Um, but I will see who they got. See what kind of a chance we stand here. In theory, we should have won that game because I got a feeling they don't have a 92 overall defenseman. So I don't see how they were scoring so much. So coaching options, new lines, and then the AHL. Let's look to see who Abbotsford has on their team just so we know what we're up against and why they maybe won that first game. So I think the biggest thing is they have probably, arguably, more depth than us. They don't have the... Uh, actually, I wouldn't even say that because... Well, I don't know. It's pretty even anyway. Their first line's good. Uh, good row, Corbin Knight, and Ben Hanowski. Uh, Agostino, uh, Arnold, and Lance Buma. Furland, Byron, and McGratton. So they got, they don't have a horrible um, offensive core, but we have some 80s. Uh, 82 overall, I believe, and... I think we have a 78, so I think we maybe have the better offense, but they don't have a horrible one. Let's just put it that way. Uh, defensively, we have a better defensive core, no question asked. The only thing is our lowest overall defenseman, I think, was like 62, something like that. Their lowest overall defenseman is a 71, so uh, that's something to consider. But still, we have a 92 overall defenseman on the team, and... Um, to 82 overall defenseman. Goalie, Tukarski's a better goalie than Kerry Ramo, simply put. 
So we lost that game. There was a lot of goals being scored, so I'm going to play around with the lines, although it might not be time to make any line changes. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to leave McCray and Dumont swap. Swap Justin Cornell with Tim Bowes on. I'm going to leave this fourth line together because they were getting points in the last series. And we will leave... Yeah, we'll leave the uh, defense the same. Even though Dalton Thor is 62 overall, I think we still have a better defense. So we should win this series. But the simulating in this game is ridiculous, as we found out last year when we won the Stanley Cup. So this simulating is horrible. Because we should be running away with every game with the team that's in this uh, this AHL team. Here we go. Game two. We need a win. Don't want to go down two games to none. Kill off an early penalty. Score Phil McCray. Got the one goal lead. They come right back. Agostino. Alright. Going in the second period. Tied up. Got to kill off a penalty. We do. They score. Don't know who that was. Oh, one of their defensemen. Tyler Wotherspoon, he scores. We're down 3-1. to one. We need a goal quickly. We're going into the third. Down by two goals. And we don't got a hero, by the way. So we're on the power play. We could not capitalize, and they take a 2-0 series lead. This game is just mentally challenged. What the hell? Ugh, I don't even know how, A, we're not out shooting them. Guy with 92 overall um, rating, he should be, you know, holding on to the puck for us, you know, getting chances, keeping the shots away from our net. That is just ridiculous. So, got to edit lines. We need uh, some sort of move. So, I'm going to leave McCray, leave Cornell. Ah, hard decision. Let's see how Danny Christo is doing. Danny Christo uh, in the playoffs. He's got four goals, four assists. He should be doing better for that first line. He's got a great shot, though, already. Uh, let's look at Dumont, see how he's doing. So, ooh, I didn't realize Dumont was a center. I thought he was a right wing. So that's something to look at. Um, Two goals, five assists. Okay, so what I'm thinking, Dumont at center. McCray will swap for Ryan White. Um, swap Cornell and Boson back because now we got we need we need a playmaker to work with that sniper there, and then I'm thinking swap Ryan White and Christian Thomas. And that's the line I'm seeing. Defensively, let's just make a quick change. Uh, don't know what kind of change I want to make. I just think it's Dalton Thrower. So Dalton Thrower. Let's actually see how he's doing. So, he is in the playoffs, one point, and that's an assist. He's a plus three, though, so it's not like he's costing us. I was hoping he would have a horrible plus minus. Would have made my decision easier to cut him. So, Drewitsky, they're scoring too many goals on us. Drewitsky had a good regular season, plus 17. He's played in one playoff game. He got an assist. He was plus one, so I'm thinking here. Uh, well, we're going <laughs> just for the purpose, Dalton Thrower has years to growth still. So just for the purpose of winning a championship, let's scratch him and put back in Drewitsky. Um, and I'm going to leave our power play the same. Penalty kill. I want to compare Orlov to Drewitsky. So Orlov has an 81, 80, and an 83 defensive category. Drewitsky has an 80, 84, 84, and he's a bit more physical, I think. Actually, I'll look at that. Um, so 85, body checking. Uh, 87 strength, just so he can work people off the puck. Orlov is a yeah, 79 body checking. So all around, Jaritsky's the better player. Hopefully that will cut down on the goal scoring on us. 
goal. You just want to make sure Tukarski's still in. Uh, Vaughn and Berneval are our extra attackers. Throw Drewitsky there. And then in the three-man power uh, penalty kill, we have to take Orlov off and put Drewitsky on. So that should be... Hopefully that gives us a boost. We need to win four. They only need to win two, so we're not in the best position. This is an absolute must-win game. Otherwise, I think we're done. Uh, scout them for a month. Okay. Sim game. Let's get a win. Get on the board early. Keep them off the board. Well, we could not kill the first penalty of the game. We could not score on our first power play. Come on. They got two. This is freaking stupid. How are they scoring a ton of goals? We got... In... I'm like, oh my god. Our defensive core is so much better, and they just keep allowing goals. This is just stupid. Finally, we get a power by goal. Danny Christo, start lighting it up more. You got an NHL ready shot. What the hell? This is freaking stupid. What? Oh my god. I don't know if I could be any more pissed off than I am right now. This game is just stupid. You know what? The simulating helped us out last year when we won the cup, and we had a mediocre team, but when you're losing to a mediocre team, it's just horrible. It makes me so mad. Okay. Channel my anger. We've lost this game for sure. Somehow, we gotta win four in a row. We outshot them, but for some reason their goalie apparently is on steroids and can't be beat. <sighs> Let's see who scored the goals. So Christo... Christo from Bourneval and Braden Vaughn. Um, and then, see, our fourth line even got a goal. That's just it's ridiculous. So, only thing I haven't touched was our power play and our penalty kill. That's all there is left to touch, really. So, let's look at that. Didn't want to do it. Uh, so, Christo, Bourneval, and Thomas will take, uh, let's see... I'm going to take this two-way forward off anyway. I don't think a two-way forward is going to help our power play. Uh, I was hoping we had a left winger or something. A uh, left winger who was a playmaker. I should be more specific. Um, let's look at Tim Bozon. See if he's ready. Uh, Bozon. If he's got a good enough pass, you know what? What the hell? We'll give it to him. So, Bozon, Dumont, and Ryan White. Bolio, Tenorti. Okay. You know what? Let's... Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. I like the defense that we have on our uh, power play. And let's just swap Christo. Oops, no. Not Christo and Orlov. I want to swap Christo and Thomas. All right, four-man power play. Uh, I'm fine with that. No way, maybe I'm not. So Thomas, Berneval, Christo, and Dumont is, I think, who I want. So Berneval and Christo, Dumont, and where's Thomas? Uh, I passed him. Christian Thomas. You're in. We're going to swap you with Dumont. Okay. Orlov, maybe actually, actually, I'm going to do that. So, let's swap Orlov and Bulio like they have on our four-man power play. Penalty kill, not getting it done. Actually, oh, they're not horrible, but uh, hard decision. Very hard decision, but I don't, I don't see a better penalty kill than what there is there. I don't think we have anyone better for the offensive spots. No. So we're going to have to leave our penalty kill alone. Um, maybe actually we split them up. So we'll split up Ryan White and Berneval. All right, I'm happy with that. Ryan White and Berneval, who needs to be there? We'll leave them. Uh, four on four lines. Yes, that's fine. McCray, nope, not Holland. Going to take McCray out, and we're going to put in Dumont with McCray. So Dumont and McCray. So we've done full line changes. 
last ditch effort. Maybe these line changes should have come earlier. I didn't want to have to redo all the lines, but it looks like that's what it came down to. Uh, Braden Vaughn and Bernaval. Yeah, I guess leave them as the extra attackers. You know what? No, 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 no. Let's take... Uh, how good's a shot does Braden and Vaughn have? Braden Vaughn has a great shot. So maybe take out Bernaval and put in uh, Danny Cristo because he's got a good shot as well. So two people with a good shot. Shootout line. Sure. Actually, no, we'll swap. I'm going to leave Orlov there. Cristo, take out Bolio. Oh, well, never mind. I don't even have to touch that. There's no shootouts in the postseason. Okay. Ready to go. Backs against the wall. At home. Don't want to get sweeped. You know what? At least win two games. I'll be happy with that. But no, actually, I want to win the whole series. We've got to somehow find a way to win. We can't score on our first power play chance. They're out shooting us right now. Come on, someone score. At least they haven't scored on us. That's a good thing. They were lighting up our net at will pretty much last game. So here we go. Another power play chance. Can't score. Doesn't look like those power play line edits are helping at all. <laughs> all right, into the third period. Scoreless game. Next goal could win it in this defensive battle. On the power play again. Still can't capitalize. What the hell? We kill off a penalty. Can't score on our next power play. In overtime, on the power play in overtime, can't score. On the power play again in overtime, got to pill off. We had to kill one off. All right, into the double overtime. Let's not go out this way. Thank you, Christian Thomas. Thank you very much. You just saved our season. Holy crap. Okay, so at least we caught up to him shots-wise, and we actually went ahead. So 37 to 29. We need a couple games like that, except for we can't leave it to last minute because one bounce can blow it for us. We need to score some goals in regulation. So Christian Thomas from Boson and Dumont. That's a good line, I think. Okay. Game... What game is this? this is game, game 5. On the road again. Back still against the wall. We got a little bit of momentum. Let's step it up. They score early. What the hell? Come on. Someone else has to score on the power play. We can't score. Our power play is a laughing stock right now. On the power play again. Finally, end our power play blues. Gabriel Dumont. Another goal from Ryan White. Here we go. Let's start separating ourselves here. We kill off a penalty. Got to stop taking bad penalties. Kill off another penalty. Going into the third. Come on. We got about half a period left to secure our win. Another power play goal. Finally, our power is waking up. Christian Thomas, the overtime game winner last game. And we are back in this series. Finally. Okay. Finally winning some games, but if we lose the next one, it's all for nothing. We make it to game six. Uh, so let's see, Dumont from Ryan White to Nordy, White from Christo, and then Thomas from Braden Vaughn. Alright, we have a shot here. At least we're not going to be laughed out if we lose this game. Because we came back in the last two. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Halfway through the first. We score Robbie Kazernik. Another goal, Holland. Okay. Just get out of the period without letting them score. We do. In the second period, we've got to kill off a penalty. Good job, everyone. Got to kill off another penalty. Good job. No, they score on the next power play. we got to stop taking a bunch of power plays in a row. Just going to tire our guys out on the power play. We can't do it. Halfway through the third, we just got to keep the puck out of our net for another five minutes. Come on, we score. That's probably the go-ahead goal, and that is how we do it. Who scored that last goal? Justin Court. Now I haven't seen him score a goal all playoffs, so that's eh, it's best time to do it. They outshot us in that game, though. So 23 to 29, they outshot us. All right. Uh, I'm just debating. Should I make a line change? Because they... They cut down on our number of shots, but no. 
So you get worried over nothing almost. We won the game, and that's what matters. But the fact that they cut down on our number of shots kind of worries me that the next game they'll they'll finally have us all figured out. Um, so Kazernik from Courtnell and McCray, Holland from Vaughn, Courtnell from Orlov, and Mackinaw or whatever your name is. All right. Well, we're in game seven. I am just debating on whether I want to, uh, do I want to make a line change? Do I want to make a line change? No. You know what? I'm going with my gut. Those were the full line changes. Can't really do much except for switch back some of the players to where they were playing when we were losing. So let's go. Kill off an early power play. We can't score on our own power play. Come on. Hanowski scores. They got a one nothing lead. Someone get it back. Let's get out of the first period tied. Come on. Come on. Come on. Frig. Come on. Someone score. We need a goal. We need a goal. Long penalty kill, and they finally score on it. What the hell brought... Ah, Byron. They're still on the power play. All right. Finally, we score. Christian Thomas. At least we don't go into the third down by two. We've got to score one more goal. We kill off their early chance, and we score. Holland with another goal. He scored for us last game. Good job. We're back in this. Kill off a penalty. All right. Here we go. We need this goal. Oh, starting overtime on the penalty kill. No, and fuck's sakes. Sorry about that language. Oh, my God. Goodrow ruins our season in overtime because who took that penalty? I want to know who took that penalty. They're getting cut unless it's a good prospect. They're getting cut. Never mind. He's not getting cut. A 92 overall defense. We're not cutting him. What the fuck, though? Braden Vaughn, 92 overall defenseman, could not take over the playoffs for... An AHL team. I am just more than pissed off right now. What the hell? All right. Well, our NHL team doesn't make the playoffs. Our AHL team only makes it to the third round to lose in game seven. Uh, disappointment all year. About sums up this year. Montreal, we got to make some sort of move in the offseason, I think. Maybe secure that right winger I tried to get all year for the first line. Ah. Uh, Couple prospects maybe sign, but not our year. We won the Stanley Cup last year. This year, couldn't do anything in either league. So that's all I got for you guys this time. We'll enter the draft in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.